Let's see. Are you a boy or a girl? It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh. Oh, James. We did it. A son. A beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? J You're James? just a... Catherine? James? Catherine! She's in Something's... cardiac arrest. Start compression. Get the baby out of here. Move, move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Captain. Hang on. Okay? Don't you one minute. We need a doctor, not a dead one. Fail to meet my expectations. Now, and there don't look be straight into the light now. James and his cheerly chatter. Decorations. They are so the boys in this place will feel just like her. Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. There you go. My goodness. Just a year old and already...
walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. Quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pen you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. <coughs> Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. These experiments don't be a damn fool. We experiment to prepare. We prepare to survive. Surprise! Surprise! Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your Congratulations, mother... young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn 10, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Oh man, you got a pit bull. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You're such a liar. Okay, if you're so smart, what did I get you for your birthday? Ha! I knew I'd surprise you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Issue 14. And with no missing pages. I found this in a box of my father's old things. Believe it or not. Imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was ten once. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday. Boy, I wish I was ten. Happy birthday. Attention, everyone. It's time to cut the cake. Andy, wait. How's it going, pal? Hey, how about the vault dwellers? Get it? Who wants to go around all day being called a vault dweller? Sometimes I think you really are as dumb as you look. This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons, party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? 
and we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. Come on, Wally. You always have good ideas. Yeah. Nice I got party, one. Butthead. The Mac. Get lost before I have Super to make cool, you right? I told you not to act all official. I know you were joking, but I'm not sure anyone else did. Nonsense. People always enjoy my little speeches. Besides, that friend of yours could use a reminder that life is not all fun and game. I hope you appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. Um... You and your <laughs> Good snakes one, and rats, rats and but lizards. <laughs> I'm sure oh, that never I'm mind. Never I can't believe my mom made me come to now this go stupid on party. And enjoy yourself. Um, what about the tunnel Thanks rats? for coming, Stanley. Are rats I'm having a good time. With the wire it wasn't easy wire wire keeping this a secret. Everything's fine. How do you like that Pip-Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-Series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost... Now go oh, on. Never I'm mind. sure everyone else would like a chance to talk to the birthday boy. How are you enjoying the party, Mrs. Palmer? I help with the decorations. Happy birthday, you know. Sonny. Oh, are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday. Goodness, listen to me ramble. Such a nice, polite young man. Here you go. Happy birthday. I think you My made him cry, Butch. <laughs> <hard. laughs> Don't baby gonna cry. Get lost, loser. I'm glad loser. to be here. I think it's important to keep in touch with the... Having fun? Isn't this great? stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. You what? Dang, I love those sweet rolls old lady Palmer makes. You little... Just stay out of my way, you got it? What'd Butch want? I thought you were in trouble there for a second. God, he really is a butthead. Oh well, you can always count on Butch to make an ass of himself. Get it? <laughs> hey, Paul, your hobby's open. Whoa, that's your hobby? <laughs> now quick, give me an idea for what to name our game. Oh, oh, I got nice it. Nice party. Oh man, this is a great one. Jonas? The grease Weasels. Hey, what Doc. Do you guys think? We're all set down here. Hmm. Weasels. Thanks. I'll send them right down. But is a weasel How's it scary going, pal? Just goofy? Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a. Jonas is. They've got teeth and everything, right? Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? And now look at you, a great big grown-up ten-year-old, with your very... Since this was... Of course... What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. Hey, relax. I was just teasing. Listen, hold on one more minute. Are you ready for your surprise?
The overseer gave you your pip, your own BB gun. Jonas found it down here. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it? Easy now. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot. Couldn't. Son, I brought you into this world. I think you know the rest. Hey, shoot at the targets, okay? That's not a toy. Careful with that, sport. Careful with that, sport. Ow! Careful with that, sport. Ow! Whoa, that's... Careful, it's a rad roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just aim and shoot. You'll be fine. Good work. Let's let's get a Hey Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Smile. Boys and girls have different parts. Right? Anyway, so I'm the overseer's daughter, so what? That like I get any kind of special treatment. Revelation 216. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. No, you are not. When I started studying medicine, you'll do f and The gym helps. You know what the overseer says? Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes! I can show you a real tunnel snake, Amata. No! I oh, remember that. Stop oh. it! Leave him guy. alone! Don't, don't stick. Come on, tunnel snakes. This little bitch isn't worth a. Okay, okay. You win. We'll leave the little girl alone. You're not worth our time anyway. Come on, tunnel snakes. We're out of here. Whatever you say, Butch. You're the boss. Tunnel snakes rule. Hey, Susie, Fine. what's new? Let's go. Oh, no not much. I'll have my report Our heater's afternoon. on the fritz again. You're kidding me. Didn't you just get new parts for it? Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. That last week? Current radiation level. Yeah, sure did. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. We'll well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, 
a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. It says here you're perfectly suited for a career as a waste management specialist. A specialist, mind you, not just a dabbler. Congratulations. Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously. And look where I ended up. Just between you and me, the whole test is a joke. If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. Hey there. I'll see you tomorrow, bright and early. Anything is possible. Even an egg. That is Dr. Brock. He's uh, safe uh, now. Is he? Get so what are you going to do now? Selfish and insolent. Wake up! Come you on, need to wake know up! These things. I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on! You've got to wake up! Don't be a smart mouth! This is serious! My father's... It's... My God, they killed him. They just beat him. Yeah, don't worry about me. But we've got...
That's... Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office. Use... Oh. Okay. I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. There he is. Hold it right there. Crime any more roaches. Ha! Get off me. to help me my mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches no i can't go back in there no i mean it's not the dark you gotta help me you know what Help me! What's happening? Butchie, help me! We did it! My mom's gonna be okay! You're the best friend I've ever had, man! Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to... Son, I just want to talk to you for a minute. Oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just, just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. It's a real shame it's come to this. business. Your dad I'm always took good care of us. I believe he's Me and Andy were in a tight spot there. Ain't no mistake. <laughs> good thing he loves toasting them. roaches so much. Let's go back to our quarters. It's our only chance. Don't you see? We're getting out of here just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. It's me! Tom! Tom. Be Why careful!
into their corners. The rat roach infestation is under control. Do not interfere with vault security personnel. Any resident found outside his or her quarters will be dealt with severely. That is all. Grip on yourself, Gloria. Get a grip. Any resident found outside his or her quarters will be dealt with severely. Yeah! Things up for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha now. There's more where that came from. You. I don't know anything! Be reasonable, Amata. Oh. Officer Mac may enjoy this, but I don't. Just... Gotcha! Done. Get away from me! I can't talk to you right now.
the vault door. Get the overseer. We need this door open now. Oh my god. You actually opened it. Good, you're leaving. I guess you were trying to help me, but you... You didn't have to kill him! Oh, really? And who appointed you... I... Hold Stop on, right the there! The overseer.
mouth of your presence, John Henry E. Straight to your heart. May our country be all successful. But whether successful or otherwise. Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. So that's the way it's gonna be, huh? Just as long as we understand each other. This here is my... I'm glad we understand each other, now. shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear the thunder of his voice. Let the men, women, and children of the earth come forth to gather and behold the power of Adam. Let those who dwell here... Good to see you. Ah, uh, come on, you piece of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. A traveler, thing. eh? I my, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. And you, well, you... Finally, someone with a modicum of civility. I represent certain interests... And those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning... You have no connections here. No interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You c The undetonated atomic bomb for which this I have in my you'll rig it to the Is that Sims is an idiot. Indeed when it Lack the aptitude, you mean. You're not rewiring the thing if you get stumped, talk to Leo Stahl. He might have Don't let... I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. Hey, smooth skin. Do you need something? A drink, maybe? Any... Wait. Well, now. 
I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me so. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. I hear you're that stray from the vault. And hmm. No. Ooh. Well, that's what I need your help. So I need you to get a bit of... Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here and... Remember... I got my eye on you. Each of us shall be mother and father to a trillion civilizations. Each of us shall know peace, shall know an end to pain, and shall know Atom in his glory. I urge you, my friends, come, drink with me and pray. Glorious Atom, I give unto you these feeble bones. I pre- Present to your will this frail body. I beg of you to use me as your vessel, guide me to your brilliance, divide each particle, and give relief to this rotten flesh. Cast the fragile form of this ephemeral body into new life in the forge of your glow. Atom, come! Bestow your presence on your unworthy servant. We stay true until the day of division, until the dawn of your return to his humble world. Behold! He is coming with the clouds! And every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear the thunder of his voice. I realize a lot of things, but... Oh, feel it. I can tell! You're positively glowing! Now, just hold on and try... Oh, you poor dear! Putting on a brave face. Now... I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. Oh, but, but I'm sh Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn.
I got my eye. Adam's glory. Let it serve as a reminder of the division that has occurred in the past and the resplendence of the promise of our division in the times to come. Give your bodies to Adam, my friend. Release yourself to his power. with the clouds and every eye hey, shall be blind with his glory every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear the thunder of his voice let the men women and children of the earth come forth to gather and behold the power of Adam let those who dwell here in his favored land attend now to the words of the There you are. Now let's ah. do this now. Oh. Another newcomer. We'll play. For this ancient weapon of war is our salvation. It is the very symbol of Adam's glory. Let it serve as a rem Name's Lucas Sim.
You may not think... I hope I've made myself perfectly clear. Reminder of the division that has occurred in the past, and the resplendence of the promise of our division in the times to come. Give your bodies... ...to Atom, my friend. Release... yourself to his power, Hi, Jenny. feel Morning. his glow, Hi. and be divided. Huh? There shall be no fear.
you can tell Tenpenny he can kiss my ass. We've got plenty of bottle caps. Let How many times do we have to go through this? I can stand here all day this? yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have. I've already Who the told hell are you, you Tenpenny won't zombie. allow zombies. You're definitely Can't not you tell the That's difference damn between sure. me and a For the last time, Fine. no I'll zombies show you the allowed. Difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours, all of you. I'm really not in the mood. So I'm really not in the mood. So leave me alone. I thought I told you to get... What? He's... Exp all right. Welcome to Ten Penny Tap. Hey there. Ah, yes, Mr. Burke is expecting you. He's waiting for you on the balcony. Mind you. The pulse charge is rigged. When you have finished savoring the moment, you may have the honor of pressing the button. Oh, and mind your eyes, it'll be brighter than... you are to offer him the reward we discussed. Now, all this bright light and wind has given me quite a thirst. Where's my scotch? I'll send someone up as soon as I've completed... Should be proud of your account. Fancy that.
Ampre. Pleased. I had help, of course. Fancy that! Right up. My God. Very nice to make your acquaintance. I'm your new robo-butler. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Godfrey. Yes, I believe this place... Speak with Lydia Motten.
Hey. Hey there. Hey. Hello. Hey there. Hello! I think I'll go scrounge up a little something to eat. Evening. Hey there. Hey. Hi. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into this. Char. Welcome to Boutique La... It's been a pleasure doing business. Until you watch yourself. Don't cause any more trouble and you'll be dead. Later. Hey there. Hi. Evening.